Hey guys, the uh, Roaring Run recreation area has one of my favorite waterfalls. I come up here often. I've done a couple videos, but I thought I'd do uh, show you about the furnace and talk to you about that a little bit and show you some of the, I mean, this is some great picnic tables here. You can picnic right beside the creek. There's about three or four more right here. There's another table right there. And I think there's a couple more on up a little bit. But you're right here beside the creek. It's uh, 32 degrees and it's not frozen because it's only been, you know, I think last night it got down to like 26. So it's going to take a couple more days. Plus this thing is, it's always moving. So it's hard to freeze something moving. Look at it. I'm going to walk over here to show you the iron ore furnace and this thing was first opened up in 1832 and it made iron that they shipped to richmond virginia and this is in uh Botetourt county virginia right here and they would ship the ore to richmond at the tredegar uh iron works and they would use it to make ammunition and weapons and things like that it was a single blast furnace and uh it was and it was in operation from like 1832 to 1854 there were some reports when i did the research that said the furnace reopened right before the civil war because i guess the southern troops needed weapons and ammunition and then as soon as the war was over it was closed again so i'll show it to you in just a second you can see it right over there So uh, now I'm going to head on up to the, the falls. And since it was 26, I don't see if anything is frozen. I seriously doubt it. It's, it would have to stay, uh, 
have a real long cold snap to get this waterfall to freeze over. We'll, we'll see. We'll check it out. So uh, the trail to Roaring Run Falls is only about 0.6 miles that way. So round trip about 1.2 miles. And while it's cold today, it's actually really nice. Wind's not blowing, so sun's shining. Beautiful day. sit here for a long time but this uh, stone is cold on my rear end so <laughs> but I have come up here and sat a long time during the summer I like doing stuff like this on my own because it gives me time to reflect and as the Christmas season and the holiday seasons come upon us sometimes it creates a lot of stress for people and my heart goes out to them I think sometimes when we're going through like financial stress and people losing money in their savings and people having to take out the 401ks and all that kind of stuff they tend to get down and just focus on negativity um, 
and I'm saying this because I do the same thing. So I, I was talking to my son last night and we were, we were talking about the same thing and how Christmas is probably not going to be as extravagant as it was four years ago and the years before COVID. I mean, before COVID, this, things were a lot different. But we, you know, I'm sitting there looking at my new grandson and he's only about eight weeks old. So thankful for him. I think we have to sometimes just have to have gratitude. Just be thankful for what we do have. It may not be the most extravagant Christmas or holiday season we've ever had, but you know what? Still got a whole lot to be thankful for. After that little hike I'm getting a little hungry so we're gonna head over here to the North Star restaurant on Lee Highway in Virginia I've never eaten there but I've seen it many 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 times we'll go check it out The North Star Restaurant is just a little country diner and you can have breakfast all day. The locals love this place. Look at those great crinkle cut fries and this huge burger. Now the bun is really big, but those patties are huge too. Now you can see when I picked this up how huge this thing is. I try to get a whole bite, but I can't. I really can't. Uh, but, man, you could also see the juices just flow out of that thing. It was really, really good burger. Uh, the burger was like $7. If you wanted fries, it's like 3 So $10 for a great meal. I really enjoyed myself. Good lunch. North Star Restaurant. All right, guys, North Star Restaurant on Route 11, Lee Highway, north of Roanoke. Uh, it's just on the outskirts of Buchanan. I guess it's in the Buchanan city limits. That is a great hamburger. They had these two big patties. I ordered a double hamburger, which was a mistake because the patties were so huge. You saw, I, I mean, that, that thing was giant and uh, really good flavorful and crinkle cut fries were great so I enjoyed that a lot I'm very full I had to take the bun off and just eat the patties and the veggies uh, but it was outstanding I loved it so I'll be back I've heard some good things about North Star and uh, yeah it's good so, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you can, you might want to consider joining as a YouTube member or become a Patreon member. And I do live streams and uh, every now and then. I haven't done one in a while, but I'll be getting back to that probably first of the year. So, anyway, y'all take care. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, baby.
Rain is coming out to play Santa Claus is packing the presents Making sure you've been behaving okay Merry Christmas, honey yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat Putting on the show for everybody Give them a smile